สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone, s h o w l e Podcast is back for a recap of the second episode of Step by Step, a Thai BL series produced by the Hub House. So what happened in the second episode? So Pat finally met k u n s e n g his new manager of the digital marketing department. But the day he was late, we had to hurry up to finish the work that p i y i n g asked last night to Pat at the karaoke. So k u n s e n g p i y i n g and Pat were so stressful at that time. We had also some kind of meeting with the client, and they were presenting their work through slide. But a problem occurred. It led it had to be at k u n s e n g s office again. At first, the manager seemed to be understanding, so Pat was kind of relieved, and he was smiling. But when he started to speak a bit more seriously, Pat lost his smile and was confused. He went to the bathroom to cry in private. He had a emotional breakdown. However, I don't know if it's the next day, but later k u n z e n g called him at his office to inform him he was going to be in charge of a new project, and introduced him to a mentor called Nan. She's a digital marketing specialist, and was going to work with him. It was the first time Pat being happy with someone at work. Nan is not only a professional worker, but also someone who can put someone at ease. She didn't judge him or criticize him, but rather encourage him and gave some tips. There was also a new character being introduced. It was the ex-boyfriend of Pat. Yeah, club. And seeing him whenever it was with his friend at the coffee shop or at the event when he was with k u n z e n g Pat looked like a lot uncomfortable. He clearly didn't want to see him. Late nights, Pat went to see his two friends at the bar, A and B, to drink and to chill. But he was still working with his laptop. Even his friends were annoyed and tried to stop him. The most iconic and funny thing that happened was after that, Pat saw k u n z e n g working and sitting to another place. And then he quickly hid himself under the table. His friends were like, "What the fuck? What's wrong with you? What are you doing?" He explained by murmuring that his manager was there, but he didn't clearly listen till A figured out and she wanted to approach him and was even ready to fight him, but B tried to stop them both. At the end, Pat escaped successfully. Next day, there's a working scene again. They had to present other project to some other client, but before entering the meeting room, Pat noticed something was wrong in his folder. A PowerPoint that he had to present, and then k u n z e n g said to him he had to make some modifications by himself because it was too late. And after that, it made Pat somehow annoyed. Not reliable or something. It was not the end because while presenting in front of the client, something happened again. Nadia, the client, said something about the mood and the tone of the slide. I guess were boring, so she suggested to come up with something newer and trendier. So okay, Pat got it, and when we are asking his manager, he went to show off on the projector a new folder. Like he opened a new folder in front of them, <laughs> like that. Later, Pat was on a break, and I won't go in details, but a colleague joined him, and he annoyed Pat. He even tried to arrest Pat. Pat nearly threw a punch on him, but he was interrupted by Nan, by P Nan, who informed him that k u n z e n g called him to come to his office. k u n z e n g was going to talk to him about what happened with the client. But before that, he admitted Pat had good ideas. It's just that what he did at the meeting room wasn't appropriate. That he should inform him beforehand. And then Pat said he already sent an email to him, but k u n z e n g said he didn't receive it. 
so that was weird. Okay, so after talking a while, Pat ended up in tears and he went back to his home. Pat was angry, he wanted to break his laptop, but when he didn't do that, he let out his frustration and he decided to resign by sending an email to Kun Zeng. But quickly, a peer review appeared, so he decided to fill it while drinking with his friends. This time, he invited A e and her boyfriend, Kanun, to come in. They had some talk and Pat finally sent the review even though he was reluctant because, as Kanun said, the boyfriend of A, e, he could be fired for this. But it was too late, he already sent it. So you guess it, the next scene was Kun Zeng at home in casual clothes and he opened the email that he had received. The end. My thought about the second episode. So it was mostly about daily life at work and what Pat had to encounter such as being pressured. I mean, I think he's young and quite sensitive because of how he reacted to his manager's thoughts and being bullied by his co-workers. Let's see what happened in the third episode and how Kun Tseng is going to react to the message sent by Pat. That's it for today, thank you for listening, bye bye!